Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Anna Bella, and today I'm going to be reviewing Doctor Who Series 13, The Flux, Chapter 2, The War of the Sontarans. Get in there, Mary Seacole. Whoop de whoop. Okay. Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. Commander Flux was the first Sontarian ever to come um, to Earth in classic um, Doctor Who. And also from Chapter 1, there was a Nitro 9 reference, which was the signature weapon of Ace, who was the seventh Doctor's companion. She used to blow up everything with Nitro 9 and whack Daleks with baseball bats. Moving on from Dorothy. Um, yes. Finally, a historical episode that actually reflects how women were treated historically by men. <gasps> I know, I know, the horrors, but it worked. It worked so good. So, so good. And the flip flop we still do not know where Claire is. She was the woman in Chapter 1 who went into the house that Dan was supposed to meet for drinks after work. Never got there because she went into that house with a weeping angel. Um, so her whole part in chapter two is not mentioned but mm, i'm getting white guardian black guardian vibes from the whole temple of time thing maybe some celestial toy maker we possibly possibly it's looking good it's looking very very good i'm so so excited i'm loving the fact about this where you've got the dogs forming their ship protective shield around the whole world and then the sontarans underneath zooming in and landing and then going back in time obviously the crimean war was the um prototype one they were then going to go to other areas of the earth's history to then take over earth so so good and so sneaky for santarans that's hardly honorable war is it for folks that have to face forwards and Obviously, the whole wha whacking them on the back. Loving the frying pan reference. Loving it. I'm also loving the space dog. Brings back Farscape memories. So much is happening. There are so many good science fiction references. And the writing is crisp, people. I'm loving the different accents from the Yorkshire accent, the Liverpudlian. It's all working out. Oh, and of course, Leeds. So it's all wa working out really well. This is well written doctor who it's crisp it's supposedly coherent though i still can't tell you where on earth we're going to end up and i'm loving the use of the cliffhanger it is so good sadly we are one third of the way through because we've got four chapters left out of six which is tad sad but overall i'm going to give this episode a five out of five i'm loving the fact that we actually got to spend a lot of time with mary c cole and learn about her work and everything that was related to her was historically accurate she did run a british hotel and yes she did charge people for drinks and for food which funded her medicines just putting that out that is historically accurate and yes she did work on the battlefront whereas um the lady of the lamp florence nightingale wrote reports and invented the pie chart i'm just putting that out there but overall five out of five definitely loving this episode so we've got dan we've got yas we've got the guy from the observatory we've got the doctor we've got the dog dude it's all happening and a load of sontarans with mary seacole and a rather idiotic british commander so loving it absolutely loving it so that is the end of my review five out of five epic episode roll on chapter three please like comment and subscribe and thank you for supporting my channel and stay safe where you are bye